Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another iOS 10 iPhone video tutorial. Today's topic is how do we use the new bedtime feature in iOS 10? If you're like me, you probably use the clock mostly for the alarm feature to wake up in the morning, but it does have of course the other features like world clock, stopwatch, and timer. Yet the newest feature is bedtime featured right in the center of the app. The goal with bedtime is to design a good sleep schedule for you. And the way that the app will help you do this is to first set what time you would like to wake up. So if it's a work day, you probably want to get up at a good time so you have time to get ready. And they'll also ask you what days of the week you would like this to go off. So say you're off weekends, go ahead and deselect those. And the next tab will ask you how many hours of sleep you need each night so the clock app can remind you that it's getting close to your bedtime. Choose your wake up tone on the next page. And then you get a final reminder just about sleep consistency and basically how this is going to track your sleep schedule if you follow its instructions. So now that you completed the setup process, you are brought to the main view for bedtime, including a sundial icon with sliders representing bedtime and wake time. Now, at any given point in time during the week, say you need to call out sick from work or you do just want to change your sleep schedule for the day, you can modify these times by dragging the sliders back and forth to represent the wake time and the bedtime, just like you did during the setup process. If you'd also like to turn bedtime off for the whole day, there is a green slider at the top where you can toggle that on and off for your needs. I know I already plan on using the bedtime feature as part of iOS 10, and I hope you found this helpful in sending it up for yourself.